just arrived. It's the 2019 Authors Fair here at the Gail Borden Library. This will be my second year. It is super nice of them to host this. It's completely free for all participants and people coming. So it lasts for about two hours from two to four. And today is Sunday the 26th. I better get my spot decorated. So let's get going. Before I get to decorating, looks like I've got some swag here. A cup and looks like a memo pad or, or some of those uh, little tabbies you put to mark spots and a pen and bookmark. And let's open this up and see what else is in there. <laughs> okay, yeah, so we've got a cup and a bookmark and looks like an, another bookmark. It's not, oh, I was thinking maybe it was a ruler or something. But no, it's another bookmark. And a super special fancy bookmark. This one, I think it's actually metal. And, of course, our little pad, which, let's open it up and see. I can't open it with one hand. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's a memo pad and little tabby thingies. Oh, that's cool. And there's a pen and a little clip that you can, it's a magnet, too, and you can stick it to your fridge. How fun! Try this again because I took a video already and apparently I accidentally stopped it halfway. So here is the finished product. There are some copies in my play, and I've got more behind the table, but honestly, I never saw any in here anyway. So, I mean, what's and there's plenty out here. There is plenty. Then I've got my postcards, which are very pretty. I got those done last year. And there's some info about the play and some comments from people who put it on where it's available and some contact info in the corner which is really out of date and I meant to bring a sharpie to cross it off and I forgot and then we have my poster so people can at a glance tell what's going on and there's and one of those little easels that you can buy at the store you know like the office supply store I that because that's where I bought it and it's really hard to set up they don't say anything about that now I'm gonna come around here and here's a behind the scenes shot this is point of view of the author oh it's so cool and there's my water that oh the exciting things you see behind the scenes here we have the table of the esteemed author Randall Allen Dunn. I have known Randall a few years now. I took a writing class from him at the library, which is where we're at. And he writes, as you can see, a lot of books. Oh my gosh, he has got, he's been at this a while. He's Mr. Busy. Mr. Busy. And here we have the table of another esteemed author, Lance Ehrlich. Am I saying that right, Ehrlich? Or is it Ehrlich? Ehrlich, okay. Mr. Lance, I was next to him last year. I was sitting next to him. So I know he's a cool dude and has a lot of awesome books with strong, strong female heroes in them. Look how cool these look. And here's some more. He's got a lot of books. Check them out. Here we have the table of esteemed author Kathleen York. Let me focus on some of her. She has the coolest stuff at her table. And she has her book, which is right here, Bridal Fashion 1900 through 1950. So hence all these beautiful, beautiful old pictures, which offer a taste of what you can find in her book. There's Kathleen. Oh, she's the nicest lady. To do. Okay, here we are. My seatmate this year is Molly McGrath, and this is her book, Little Broken. It's got a lot of reviews. It's just doing so well on Amazon. There's Molly. Hi, Molly. Hello. What's your book about, Molly? Uh, it's family struggles, um, typically uh, things that you'd find that anybody in any family is going to have to deal with, uh, coming of age, and um, just, I feel like everybody can sort of find a character in there that they relate to. Awesome. Again, the book is Little Broken, and you can find that on Amazon. One thing that's really nice is that they set out uh, snacks for everybody. And of course, the authors can have some, too. There's ice water, uh, lemonade. I'm guessing it's lemonade. And they're still setting up. Ooh, pretty balloons. They're still setting up, but I see some cookies back there. I can't have any, of course, because I have allergies, but they're still their cookies, and I can look. 
Okay, so I forgot to do an outro. <laughs> I'm new to this sort of vlogging approach and really bad at it. So um, just to recap what happened at the fair, I didn't sell anything. I didn't really expect to. Didn't sell anything last year, so uh, you can't do worse than that. Uh, my table mate Molly did great. She sold three, four. Um, so good for her because that was her first year. Um, I actually might have done in the negatives because I was told that when uh, one of the rare times I walked away, a uh, gentleman came by and was looking at the plays I had out on the table and he walked away with one. <laughs> So, I guess maybe I did do worse than selling none, um, but in any case, it was a lot of fun. It was a great experience, and like I say, Molly and I really hit it off, so I had somebody to talk to the whole time. That's really great. Hi, Molly, if you're watching this. Um, I definitely hope to see you next year, and maybe sooner we'll, we'll see. Um, in any case, I had a lot of fun, and I am really looking forward to next year. Next year, my goal is to, if not have something else to sell, because a year goes by pretty quick, um, but if I don't have something else to sell uh, or market by then, then I will be working on something to market. So that's my big plan. That's my big goal for next year. It's always good to have one. Uh, so that's how that went down. The entire author fair at the Gail Borden Public Library in Elgin, Illinois. It was a lot of fun. They do it every year in April. So do go if you're in town and maybe I'll see you there. Until next week, this is Chipmunk of Power saying write with love and write with power.